Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R programming. In this session, we will learn how to get publication ready summary tables for our data. We will witness unparalleled power of the GT summary package for creating stunning and insightful summary tables effortlessly. Let's start our journey. Open your R studio and from file menu, take a new file and R script. We'll load the package GT summary first library gt summary and if you have not installed this gt summary package you will get error when you run this line if no error is there your package is there if error is there go to tools and install packages a dialog box will open and type in the package name there and from the drop down list select the package and click install package will get installed we will use dataset trial included in this package dataset trial head we will see and this dataset contain these variables treatment age marker stage grade response death and tt death using summary function of base r we will see the summary of this trial data trial and if you see here treatment is a character variable length is 200 then age is a numeric variable with 11 NA values, then marker uh, is uh, with again 10 NA values are there, stage is a factor variable with these levels T1, T2, T3, T4 and uh, these many numbers are there, grade also has a is a categorical variable, uh, is a factor variable where three levels are there, response, death and TT death is there. Uh, that TT death is also this one. TRT, I suspect it to be a dichotomous variable. We'll probe in that just using the table TRT. Uh, that table function will provide us about, I need to use the dollar there. Spelling mistake. Trial run that and it's a dichotomous variable drug a 98 and drug b 190102 observations are there now we are ready to get a summary table and for that the function is tbl summary and the arg argument first argument it requires is the data will provide data using the pipe operator i will type the name of the data and then use the pipe operator this trial data will be piped in the tbl summary function and we will get a table. I will run this and you will see how easily we get a summary table. Now this summary table contain this title heading, table uh, uh, column headings for this table, characteristic this is n uh, total number of observations 201 and for this they have put a footnote also and we will see the footnote. That footnote is to explain what statistic is there that is n percent for uh, categorical variable that uh, how many percent those observations are there uh, in the bracket that is there and median with IQR this is median with IQR this is for continuous variable and this summary is for categorical variable now we will see how to provide arguments to this TBL summary so that we will change the statistic which is there in this and we will change this unknown also because unknown is for missing data uh, we can omit that or we can rename that now I will first uh, stratify it using the by argument by is equal to and I will stratify using this treatment variable by TRT I want the separate summary for drug A data and for drug B data uh, to explore what is the effect of those treatments that by treatment will provide us a stratified summary table and this stratified summary table is there drug A 98 observations are there drug B uh, 102 observations are there and this is the summary for the uh, act by the variable treatment and age 46 is the median age and 37 to 59 is the interquartile range this is the statistic now we can play with this statistic also we can specify which statistics need to be uh, shown and in which format it need uh, it is to be shown and for that I will put comma here and in the same same TBL summary I will put the next argument that is statistic and is equal to 
now here a important concept we need to understand that we have to select the variable types here i will select all continuous variables all continuous variables then after that this is the selector function and this selector function selects all continuous variables i will put a tilde symbol to make it a formula interface and after that i will put which statistics i need to uh, show there and that statistics i need to in a uh, markdown uh, uh, format that uh, inverted quote is there and in inverted quote i will put uh, that mean is equal to will have and in curly bracket will put the uh, mean so that mean will be shown and this is sufficient for us is equal to is not good for summary tables but i will keep that as such so that you can see what happens here mean is equal to 47 okay now we want sd also for that i will put comma and uh, standard deviation is equal to and in curly bracket we will put the computed statistic that sd this string will be shown and after that the computed statistic will be shown because of that curly bracket and i will run that if we don't enclose in curly bracket that will be shown as a string only this sd will be string here sd is equal to 15 uh, this is how we show the statistic if you want to show the statistic for categorical variable then you have to select for all the uh, this time we go for the two uh, statistic therefore we have to use the list there and after that uh, we will complete the bracket for the list and after this comma inside this list we will go for the next one that all categorical and you don't forget that list we require to enclose that statistic in a list object then only uh, it will be shown properly all categorical then formula interface is required in inverted quote i will put median is equal to in curly bracket i will put median uh, please take care of this uh, curly brackets and uh, this inverted quotes otherwise you will see error after that i will put comma and there i will put again curly bracket to show uh, p25 for the first interquartile range and then comma again p uh, that median is not good for the category i will change that i forgot that i thought that i'm working with the uh, continuous variable here i will put that n in curly bracket that n will be there number of observations followed by again curly bracket total number of observations will be there that is uppercase n and followed by uh, in bracket again in curly bracket i want that percentage p and that percent symbol as i want it as a string it is not a computed statistic therefore that percent symbol will be outside the curly bracket only the computed statistic will be inside the curly bracket now we'll see what happens i will run that and you will see this change for the uh, categorical data 28 out of 98 observations that is 29 percent 25 out of 102 observations that is 25 percent we have specified the statistic for all continuous and all one this categorical i will remove this mean also that is not required uh, i'll remove this sd also that is not required and uh, here i will put a comma so that inside the bracket this will be there we'll run that again and we'll see the effect and at the bottom we'll see that the footnote got changed okay. earlier that footnote was mean is equal to that mean uh, this one and sd is equal to that one but here it is for continuous variable mean followed by sd uh, sd i will enclose in bracket you will see how the footnote changes and we'll run that and you'll see the in footnote the curly bracket uh, the normal bracket will appear around the sd and this is how we get a summary table the unknown values i will take care of unknown values i will missing uh i don't want to work in statistic but this argument is not for statistic this argument is 
uh, after the statistic that is missing underscore text is equal to I will put their text is equal to missing in inverted quote uh, this text shall be and we will run that this unknown name will change to the missing. argument 3 is empty here I will remove that and will run that comma was extra comma there it was not required and therefore error was there and now here you can see the missing text is missing okay. this is variable name then its statistic that missing and all that uh, the, this characteristic also we can change that will put that modify there to uh, change that I will just show one modification there that con control M for that pipe operator control shift M for pipe operator and I will modify this modify functions are very useful this modify caption will provide title to this one I will put a dummy title there my first summary table and we will run that and you will see a table heading will appear here as caption this table heading is not bold I will make that bold by using the R that only markdown uh, convention I'll I'll put a double asterisk around this double asterisk and we'll run that it will be bold then uh, we can have the headers also modify headers also will have modify header and this modify header this label we want to change okay. therefore that header label I will put that label is equal to and in a bracket again I want it to be bold therefore this pair of uh, double asterisk and inside that I will put that as variable not necessary to change this the default is sufficient but how to change that I am showing here only and now uh, here that variable will be there we can make this bold also by using this one control M bold labels bold labels run that and labels will get bold variable labels will get bold if you want to bold the labels also these are called as labels these labels also can be uh, made bold and for that you will use that pipe operator you will put that bold levels and run that levels will also be bold now you can add many statistic to this by using add functions that is add underscore confidence interval that confidence interval one more column will get added that is confidence interval and we can specify pattern also but that detail we will see in next video this 95% confidence interval is provided for this data for overall, uh, overall data that uh, no for the drug A that its own column is there for drug B its own column for 95% confidence interval is there we can add that p value also add p value add p and we will run that that p value will also be shown and again we can uh, specify pattern how to show this p value also and this p values are shown for this age p value is 0.7 means age there is no significant difference between age for the patient's drug a and for the patient's drug b and similarly for marker level also there is not significant difference at alpha 0.05 for drug a and drug b and uh, for all other variables also no significant uh, effect is there and we can add the significant stars also i will show you how to add those but those significant stars will not appear in this data a significant difference is not there and the stars you will get those stars around these p values which will uh, show at what level the statistic is significant okay. and here uh, that uh, is significant difference is not there therefore stars are not shown but footnote is, has got added if single star were there uh, the uh, alpha or p value was less than 0 0.05 if two stars were there that is highly significant p value is less than 0 0.01 and if three stars were there p value uh, is uh, less than 0 0.001 
this is how we get a good summary table many details are there but initially this is sufficient for you to get a publication ready summary table thanks for watching this video if you have liked this video please click the like button please click the bell icon so that you will get notifications of my new videos subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and thanks thanks again for watching